imagine hearing your unborn baby might not be able to walk. A scenario a lot of parents are not prepared to hear. In tonight's 9 p.m. Extra, Valley Woman shares her story and the medical breakthrough that has changed her family's life. I'll never forget his introduction and he said, you know, good afternoon, my name's Dr. Nyberg and I don't have very good news. When Jody Simmer was in her second trimester, an ultrasound revealed her unborn child had spina bifida, a birth defect where the bones of the spine don't form properly around part of the baby's spinal cord. We were told that she would never walk unassisted. We were told that she would um, very likely have a mental delay of something between a normal child and a Down syndrome child. While Jody and her husband prepared for the unknown, Dr. David Nyberg with the Fetal and Women's Center of Arizona told them about a new clinical trial called MOMS. It looked at two different ways of treating spina bifida. Surgery after the baby is born or operating while the baby is still in the womb. We were hoping for in utero because we really felt that that was going to be the best benefit for her. Jody was one of 200 women in the study that got prenatal surgery at the University of California, San Francisco. It was one of the three designated MOMS centers in the country. They have to open the MOMS tummy and they have to make a hole through the uterus they then get access to the baby's back. They bring the back as close as they can to the opening, and they repair the defects. And according to the study's findings published last month, prenatal surgery has many benefits. We started physical therapy as soon as she came home, and during this time, she's been in tumbling classes and dancing classes and just defying the odds. Other kids in the trial had similar outcomes, like JC. They were able to walk, and many didn't need a shunt, which drains excess fluid and relieves pressure on the brain. In the prenatal surgical group, they were able to walk in 42% of cases. In the postnatal surgical group, it was 21%. For the postnatal surgical group, at the end of one year, 80% of those required shunning. In the prenatal surgical group, 40% required shunning. JC is now five and doing well in school. And while there will always be risks involved with prenatal surgery, Jody is glad they did it. The benefits outweigh the risks. That's clearly been shown. And they're going to have surgery either way. We love sharing her story and love showing people that it's not going to be a bad outcome. The prenatal surgery is being offered now at the Three Mom Centers. For more information, you can log on to azfamily.com.